walking into Target, October, oh my gosh, what day is it? October 14th. It's about like 80 out, it's beautiful. Let's go shopping. Makes me sad. They're three ninety nine. Got some other pumpkins. The white ones are always so pretty. Two ninety nine each. This is a pumpkin painting kit. It comes with some paint. $6.99. Comes with four pumpkins and paint. So I stopped at the Starbucks to pick up a little treat. The raccoon cake pop is so cute. Then I really like the apple shaken espresso non dairy. It's really good. It's really light. I think it's about 110 calories for the tall. A Halloween selection. I kind of like this. I like the pumpkin playing the guitar. We've got some skeletons here. Some trick or treat buckets. Oh, look at this guy. His name is Bruce. Bruce. And look at this guy. Alright, I gotta get something for the front door. I kinda like this one. A little skeleton here. All right, let's look. I'm thinking this might be good by the front door. All right, so I need to get. I have a gym membership, but I find that I'm working out more at home. So I kind of need to get just a couple things here. I'm gonna look at the weights here. And I definitely need a 20 pound, so I'm gonna get one. I was kind of looking at the kettlebells. But I was looking at this. You can adjust it from 5 to 25 pounds for $100 for one of them. It's not a bad deal. 
and a bunch of I have bands I have a ball the stuffers kind of nice $29.99 $29 for the stuffer three different height levels and this right here you can put it on your door to pull a bar for $20 weighted hoop and then I was looking at her stuff and they're really nice the bands are really nice jump rope her um, little mats here are pretty and she's got this I think this kind of nice little fitness journal All right, I'm gonna get one of these 20 pounders. Oh, that's a pretty good deal. So you get the little stand here for three, five, and eight pounds for $50. And you can do those little tiny like motions like the serving the tray. Um, really works on those little tiny fiber muscles. So yeah, you're just starting out. This is a good deal. <clears throat> All right. So here's some packing stuff. Going to Disney next week for three days and two nights. These packing cubes are great. Some travel. These bags are nice. I got these were kind of cute. Kind of like this purple one. Little earrings and necklaces, headbands. If you didn't want to do uh, the ears, but these are little barrettes. Those are cute. Some more barrettes. Just some different ideas if you don't want to do the um, Mickey ears. Here is a Mickey sweatshirt. I might actually get this. This is cute. And it is $21.99. Cute. All right, went to Target, found that cute um, Mickey skeleton sweatshirt. It was $20, definitely got that. Got a uh, 20 pound weight and got a couple of travel size products that we needed, but now we're gonna go into TJ Maxx and five and below, see what we can find. All right, lots of leggings here. I try to look for some of pockets, so when your hands are full at the parks, you can put stuff in it, $16.99. Or even just like these two, two for 24. These cups were kind of cute. Keeps things nice and cold. You can bring in cups, fill them up with free waters. Oh, look at that. And there's a whole bunch you can always get. I kind of like these ones that are stainless steel and I have like this little flip top. Keeps everything nice and cold, $10. Looks like you could kind of hook it on something too. For your kids. So definitely bring in water bottles if you can, if you remember. Sometimes I forget. I don't know if I would do these big ones though. This would be a pain to carry around the park. Or even this. This would, this would be a lot to carry in the park. Put something like this in a backpack. Something like this in a little backpack. Fill it up. Don't have to buy waters. Definitely think that's a good idea. So I saw these cookie and the bagel tables. I'm sure they're probably like Tic Tac famous. I just don't know it. I'm just trying to see if there's a price. 
Alright, so if you're looking for these, they have them at TJ Maxx in Boynton Beach. Okay, and there's some Disney Baba Bear earrings. Some necklaces. These are cute. Sally earrings. Little ones here. A whole bunch of Disney earrings and necklaces. All right. Didn't find too much at TJ Maxx. That's a f that's fine. Um, was able to get another pair of leggings for sixteen dollars. Like I said in the store, it's really nice to find leggings. They have pockets, um, especially like if you've got your phone and you've got a backpack and like, it's just nice to be able to put stuff in your pockets when you're in the parks. Um, found some hand, hand soap and stuff like that. So, but like always, when I go to TJ Maxx, I always pick up a little treat. I got these coconut patties. I've seen them before. Wondering if they're like the ones in the park. $3.99. They're individually individually wrapped. So I did open up one. I haven't taken a bite yet. Um, it looks like chocolate. It looks like there's some coconut on top. Let me see if I can lean this up against the window. Okay, let's see. Oh, they're pretty good. They have coconut inside. They are really, really sweet. So you definitely would not need to eat a lot of these, but they're pretty good. I would get these again. They do have different flavors too. I saw like pina colada. Um, these would melt at the parks, but very good. I might have to get one at the parks again to see if they taste the same. It's been a while since I've had a coconut. I don't know if they're called coconut patties in the park, but anyway, these are good. Definitely 10 out of 10. Added into Five and Below. Haven't been in there for a while. Just thought it'd be kind of fun. It's right next to TJ Maxx. So let's go in, see if there's anything in there we could bring to Disney or for the weight room. So I noticed right away they have some little signs here. And I actually might get this for my front porch area. I'll show you. For $5, it's cute a little um, wreaths here, some little fence, fencing, crystal ball, some little trees. Yeah, I think those are actually really cute. Here's spider webs for your front porch. Some little hanging things here. Some um, styrofoam grave. Yeah, they have a lot of cute little stuff here. Inflatable cats. It's 47 inches tall. Pumpkin kit. And we have two shirts here. Tim Burton's. $5. Can't really beat that. That's cute. They just came out with the movie. They came out with it, um, I think on October 11th. They're playing it in the theaters again. But there you go, $5. It's a 12 day holiday puzzle countdown. Pillow. Jack Skellington stuffed animals, some pens, this is a little hair clip, charging, there's some hats, and here's a mask. You got some bubbles here, some socks, some little cups, zero, some puzzles, 
Yeah, they have a lot of stuff in here. All right, so they have this whole area here. These blow up um, pumpkin arch, $10. And then they have this blow up bear costume for 15. And then they have the Grim Reaper arch, $10. And they have a huge inflatable eyeball. Sorry, it's this is 18. But still, that's a good price. There's people behind me. I didn't want to be in their way. So yeah, so the Grim Reaper and the pumpkin is 18. But still, cute. You probably have to, I don't know if there's like something to hold it down, but that's not a bad price. I'm trying to look for a price. So they have a dino costume. I'm assuming it's $10, like the bear. <laughs> and they have a little pumpkin light up. They have this big skeleton. All right, so they're $25 for the big skeleton here. And then 10 for the inflatable costumes. <laughs> And then there's some tentacles you could put on your house. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 15. So 15 for the blow up dino. And here's some skeletons. Okay, so five and below is so much fun. Shout out to the cashier at the five and below in Boynton Beach. Super sweet, super nice. Really appreciated her. The sign was $5, so I got it. When I get home, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, but I, you know, five and below has a lot of different candies and snacks and stuff, so I did get these. I'm assuming they are pizza flavored because I could not say that. So I did already open it. Let's try it. Ooh. You can see the seasoning on there. They're really good. They taste like um pepperoni pizza. That's crispy, like a thin crust pizza. Okay, and then I got these, and I already pulled them out of the thing. She said these are like a big seller. Um, she said that they go by like people take them like they sell out that's what i'm trying to say i did already open the package let's see i'm seeing in the parking lot okay they're really squishy looks like there's like powdered sugar on it they are green they're good they don't really have too much of a flavor, but they're good. Yeah, I mean, they're not bad. I don't know if I would buy them again because they're not super flavorful. Maybe the other kinds in there, but sorry. These ones, these are good. And the coconut patties, very, very good. So anyway. I'll see you when I get home. All right, y'all. Let's well, start off with just going to Target to show you a couple of things that you can get for Disney. Turned out to going to TJ Maxx to Five and Below because they're right next to each other. And then right across the street is Marshall's. So I have to go in and just see, you know, there could be a really good deal. And join me. So while looking for lounge flies, I saw these cute little purses. I mean, seriously, look at how cute these are. They're like little haunted houses. $24.99. Those are really cute. All right, so I found this. Little uh, breakfast tea. And honey lemon tea. Winnie the Pooh, they're cute. A lot of the same stuff. And TJ Maxx, a little bit more organized over here. A lot of Hello 
new stuff still. I know I like any strings. I think they're cute. Oh, look at those. Those are so cute. I just saw this. Cute. And then over here, light up Mickey. And we have the Grinch. We have all the Christmas stuff starting to come out. And here is some water bottles. This is a really nice one. The Hydro Peak keeps everything nice and cold. Put it in your bag. This one's on sale for $13. So. Okay, y'all. Marshalls. Kind of the same stuff. Just a, a couple little things that were different. Much, much, much more organized and um, separated so good job Marshalls okay I wasn't going to do this because I've done so many different snacks and stuff but I couldn't help it so I saw these oops on the way out she says they're the healthier version of Takis and she says they're not that hot but I'm kind of like they look hot Spicy chili and lime. Let's try it. Oh my. They look really red. Oh my gosh. They already smell spicy. <clears throat> Alright. They're super sour. They're like super limey. And then they get kind of warm. So she's right. They're not really spicy but they're like you can taste the lime okay then we got vampire cookies it is strawberry filled cookie dipped in white chocolate Ugh, i'm not a big white chocolate person but i figured why not try it okay oh they're little tiny things can you see that i think they're little all right These are good. They're like shortbread that's really crispy with strawberry. And the the white chocolate's actually really good on it. I'm not a big white chocolate person, but these are good. I would definitely get these again. All right. And then I have a mom here. I've got a water. And then here's a little $5 sign I got from Five and Below. I just take the tag off, but I think it looks cute there. Just, you know, something. We don't really have trick-or-treaters. We do like a big um, trick-or-trunk for the community. So I think this is perfect. So we have some Halloween flamingos here. From, um, I want to say Lowe's. Are they cute? All right, thanks for joining me. I had a lot of fun just shopping around. A lot more shopping than I thought I was going to do. Just wanted to get a couple of things for Disney and just take you along with me and try some little snacks. But anyway, it's a beautiful day, and um, I will talk to you all later. Have a great one.